Hi, my name is Kimo Arbus. I am the CEO of Pilot Angel. We detect drowsiness and intoxication in real time. Quick show of hands, how many people here have fallen asleep at the wheel or know someone who's been killed or injured in a sleep or intoxication related accident? John, a buddy of mine played drums in a band that was up and coming called Weed Eater. One night during a short commute home, he fell asleep and was killed. As a matter of fact, over 400,000 people die in sleep-related accidents on the road every year. Drowsiness slows reaction time, hinders decision-making and attention, much like being drunk. Drug use, 15% of construction, 8% of transportation and shipping personnel use drugs. In fact, one-third of trucker fatalities test positive for illegal drugs. And I don't even have to tell you about 2008 and cocaine. Introducing our product, Pilot Angel. We detect drowsiness and intoxication in real time by directly tapping the brain. So we can prevent accidents even before other symptoms become visible. It's composed of a wearable and a smartphone app. For example, the wearable can be built into a hat. You can see the electrode here. So when the user uses the app, it'll detect dangerous drowsiness. Once the dangerous drowsiness is detected, it will then set off an alarm. If the alarm is not reset by the user, it will then send a push notification to the emergency contact uh, with um, GPS location and a timestamp. See, there's the alarm and there's the push notification here. So, A lot of things in my hands here. So our team, we have uh, Dr. Maloon, PhD, data science, Caltech. Dr. Hain is a data scientist, Jet Propulsion Laboratory, NASA. Torben Noah, former Belkin Industrial Design Director. Me, I'm the inventor and leader. Uh, Dr. Shodkis, he's a neuroscientist with over eight years of research in brainwaves. Our business model is simple, B2B subscriptions, upgrades to additional features like cocaine, methamphetamine detection, partnerships with insurance companies. The markets are huge, 3.5 million truckers, 1.1 million firefighters, 18,000 surgeons, 600,000 pilots, and half a million insurance companies in the US alone. Uh, we're seeking two million for the first year to market. Uh, market projection is 1% of US trucking only uh, will grow 7 million. There's also several additional markets because our system is independent and inexpensive. Emergency responders, air and traffic control and engineers, mining, security, law enforcement, drug testing, Anywhere, drowsiness and intoxication are a problem. Pilot Angel, we're seeking two million for one year to market. Let's save some lives. Thank you so much, Pilot Angel. Jury, any comments? Uh, traction or pilot results. Uh, how do you know this works? Um, done extensive interviews with trucking, uh, truckers, things like that. Even guys that don't want to wear anything on their head, they're totally into it because they hate long haul because of the fact you can fall asleep no matter how much Red Bull or coffee you drank. Um, was in the process of setting up a uh, product trial with AT&T for their emergency, um, you know, the repair teams after, you know, uh, natural, natural disasters. They send out people that end up working triple shifts and they had problems with that. So that was in the works. I have in, uh, letters of intent from that with some executives on the East Coast of the United States and um, looking to partner with some insurance companies or logistics or anybody else who would like to, you know, increase their brand by showing that they care about safety uh, with the latest technology. And that's one of the reasons why I'm here at Slush. How do you uh, enforce adherence? Uh, like, you know, if a truck driver plans to consume some drug, you know, his willingness to put this thing on his head rather than on his friend sitting next to him, or, you know, how, how do you control that? Right, that's a very good question. Thank you for that. Um, so the adherence, uh, number one uh, from the interviews, we have two features. One is detecting drowsiness before other symptoms come up, like they can be detected by eye cameras, et cetera, or uh, performance. Uh, and um, in that case, the truck drivers are exceptionally interested in using that feature because it helps them with the professionality. Um, everyone I've talked to, I've talked to you know, dozens, and they're, they're really into it. Now, the drug, uh, the drug side, that's for places where there's already a policy of drug testing. We test, we can detect cocaine and methamphetamine in real time, whereas if you, the traditional uh, uses of that would be, uh, detection would be 
urine or blood tests, and there's only a one to three day window for detecting it. So if it's a pilot flying someplace or a truck driver on a long haul, you might not have a chance to test them, or when you do test them, it's past that window of opportunity. With us, they sit down to do their job, or stand to do their job, and we can tell in about 10, 15 minutes. All right, team. Thank you so much. Thanks. Uh, it's time to move on. And it's independent, and everything's in all-in-one, which doesn't exist in the market. Thank you, guys.